Hey guys, what's up? You have learned how to pan but have no idea about pan lock. Don't worry, today's video will make it all clear. Are you ready guys? See you after the music. Hey, I'm Julian Maskanya, sound engineer at NG Studios. Pan law is very interesting technique when used correctly. And I myself have experimented in many songs. Let us see how you can use it today. But before that, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for more such content. So what exactly is pan law? Pan law is basically a pan depth used in audio consoles and DAWs to compensate volumes while panning left, center and right. If you play two identical signals at left and right speakers, your SPL meter will show 3 dB loud at sweet spot. The amount of signal going to either speaker depends upon the position of the pan pot. Most audio consoles and DAW have compensation where your mono signal gets louder when it's panned to the center as compared to panning in the sides. So the default pan law of minus 3 dB gets attenuated to compensate the 3 dB loudness in the center so that we don't perceive difference in volume while panning left, center and right. This attenuation is called pan law. That is a complicated definition, right? Basically in simple terms, if you're panning a signal, it will transmit smoothly to move across studio fields without a volume difference. How do we use in our track? That is what we are going to go over today. Let's look at it in the DAW. So I'm showing examples in Reaper because uh, Reaper has a pan law of 0 dB pan depth and whereas Pro Tools doesn't have. So that's the reason I'm showing this pan law depth in Reaper. So let's go to project settings, go to pan law 0 dB default. And now just insert a sine wave of 1 kilohertz or anything. Now you can see it's showing minus 18 dB on the center section. And if you turn on the left section, again, it will show minus 18 dB. Okay. And if you turn on the right of the section, again, it will show 18 dB. So left pan 18 dB, center pan 18 dB, right pan 18 dB. But here the volume, now here the volume, center pan. So it's louder. There is no compensation volume. Now to compensate this, we go to project settings and our default pan law is minus 3 dB. So let's say OK on this. Now you can see minus 18 dB, it's uh, minus 21 dB on the center, which is compensated. I mean, if you go to the left, it will say minus 18 dB. If you go to the right, it will say minus 18 dB. And if you go to the center, it will not show minus 18 dB. It will show minus 21 dB because it's compensated. The volume is compensated. I hope you understood the compensation of minus 3 dB pan depth. Every DAW has their own algorithm of pan depth values and pan curves. Pro Tools has pan depth of minus 2.5 dB, minus 3 dB, minus 4.5 dB, and minus 6 dB. So, what pan depth should we use? What pan depth should we use? Minus 3 dB is the common panning depth because of the half power point theory. Without going further, let's say minus 3 dB is recognized as half power of 0 dB. Now guys, uh, I'll on the sine wave again. As you can see, the center section is minus 21 on uh, uh, your uh, pan law of minus 3 dB, if suppose. And then now we make sure to hear the volume. Like if we're panning left to right, there should be the 
there should be no volume difference while panning left to right. So the pan law on the center section is minus 21 now, like left is minus 18, center is suppose minus 21. Now if you set the pan law to minus 4.5, this 21 will, will, will be ducked by another minus 1.5 dB. Let's check the 21. This is minus 22.5 now. So again, let's go to the pan law, go to minus six, and the center one will be again ducked by minus three, that means uh, minus 24. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have you guys experimented with pan law? If you have, then how did it go for you? Comment down below, I would love to know. Till then watch the video on NS10 hack, it would be super helpful. Let me play a session. For this, we are gonna start with minus 2.5 dB compensation. Let's hear it. So guys, I'm going to play this session on different panned ups. Now you need to observe the kick, which is center pan, bass, So now I'm going to play the whole session on different pan depth for your monitoring purpose. Let's press Ctrl 2 in Windows for Pro Tools of uh, checking your pan depth and for Macintosh it's command 2. So pan depth we are starting from minus 2.5 dB. Let's play. So guys, let's go to minus 3 dB pan depth and make sure to hear all the center pan, which is kick, bass, snare. Huh? Let's only try to absorb the center volume. So I'm playing the minus 3 dB, which, which is the actual pan depth of this session. Now let's go to minus 4.5 dB pan depth. Observe the volume difference in snare, kick and bass. Now let's check minus 6 dB pan depth. Observe that the center volume, center pan volume has been decreased on minus 6 dB more. So hear it again.
Now let's go to minus 3. Minus 6 again. I hope you understood the differences. Please note this is just the monitoring. If you want to use any panned up, use it before mix. In 1950, BBC conducted a research and stated that minus 4.5 dB is the better pan law. Here's the fun fact. The SSL console also came up with minus 4.5 dB. So guys, as a uh... On, as you have absorbed the pan depth of the various uh, volume like uh, minus 2.5 dB pan depth, minus 3, minus 4.5, minus 6. One important thing I would like to share with you is uh, if suppose an engineer has mixed a song in minus 4.5 dB pan depth and we have opened up the session on your studio and you have to do some correction and stuff and your default pan depth is suppose minus 3 dB then your whole balance will change. So make sure if the session is mixed in minus 4.5 dB pan depth make sure to open the session and to check the pan depth which is at minus 4.5 dB. Make sure to ask the mixing engineer whether it is mixed in minus 4.5 or minus 3. As you know, minus 3 dB is the default pan depth of most of the engineers, but engineers also prefer minus 4.5 dB for mixing. And few engineers also does it on minus 6 dB. So I hope you understood to make sure to check the pan depth and you should set the pan depth before you are mixing. Minus 6 dB is also interesting. If you swap your stereo mix to mono, the pan depth of minus 6 dB doesn't change the levels of your center and sides much. The pan law will not make a huge difference in the art of mixing. But you should always experiment. And I would recommend you guys try mixing at minus 4.5 dB pan depth. Nowadays, you will find a lot of plugins for changing the mid and sides. Always experiment with this pan depth settings. Don't be afraid to reach out here at NG Studios. I would love to hear your mixes. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon. Check out this video over here. Cheers.